Isabella, thank you so much for sending this in. It's absolutely incredible. Look at the detail and the effort that has gone into it. It's got all of the Blue Peter badges and it is perfect for summer. And in fact, you said we should have a go at making one. So we're going to try our own version. Well, I'm not, but Adam is. You ready, mate? Thanks, Isabella, for your fantastic idea. And I thought, why not tweak Isabella's idea since we're out in the BP garden to make a dream catcher entirely out of things that you would find outside, like these ones right behind me. Check those out, they're cool, aren't they? So if you're out in your garden, on a hike, on a walk, or even in your local park, then make sure to collect some things to make your very own dream catcher. And here's a list of everything you will need. It's honestly not that much. You need some sticks, twigs, a pair of scissors, some decorations, and a piece of string or wool as well. So first things first, you want to find a twig, cut it into three equal pieces, make sure to grab an adult to help, and you want to form a triangle, okay, like I've done here, and I don't know if you can see that, but I've tied a knot on both corners, and I'm going to tie the final one right up here, like so. It can be quite fiddly, and you guys have more time than me, so <laughs> don't mind my, uh, my fingers and thumbs. So just tie it around like that. Make sure it's nice and tight, like that. And you should end up something a lot neater, <laughs> like this. Uh, so I'm going to sit this down right here. You want to make another little miniature version of the triangle that you just created. So grab another piece of twig, cut it into three equal pieces, grab an adult, remember, to help you with that. And it will look like that. And that will sit nice and neatly in the middle. Now next we want to decorate the middle triangle. So grab another piece of string. I'm going to go for uh, some of these little beads right here. They're quite funky. Uh, so just thread a piece of string through. I'm going to try another one. There we go. So just can be quite, uh, quite fiddly this part, but if you thread it through like so, you should end up with a nice little colorful decoration. You guys can take your time with this. Obviously, uh, this is BP, and I'm trying to show you in a little bit of a, of a rush, but we're gonna, we're gonna tie the end of this just to create a little, little knot. Right, we've created, I don't know if that's gonna hold it, but. Right, next, we're gonna, we're gonna attach these little beads that we put on our string to the bottom of our middle triangle, okay? So what you want to do is tie that around the bottom corner and you want to tie the other end around the bottom corner like so. And it should hang like that from the little triangle that we've just made. And it just adds a little bit of color, something nice for your dream catcher to have. Uh, so we've done the decorations. Next step, we want to attach the small triangle to the big triangle with a piece of string. Since I'm tight on time, I'm going to show you what it would look like. It would look like this. Uh, and as you can see on the bottom, we've added a few more decorations. I've added some fellers, some stones, some fellers with beads. Uh, it looks incredible. And there you have it. You have your very own dream catcher. And if you guys want to earn your first BP badge, why not have a go at making one of these? Uh, send us pictures, send us letters, and all the info is on the BP website. And all that's left to do is hang it up, sit back, relax, and dream away.